Now that we are done with the rumors, the 2025 Nissan Patrol Y63 and the 2025 Nissan Armada look like identical twins. However, this Patrol here has some unique features over this US spec Armada, but just by how much and does the difference even matter at all? Welcome to AutoStop as we dive into that. Now, a couple of days ago, Nissan Motor Corporation unveiled this seventh generation Nissan Patrol in the Middle East, coinciding with the introduction of the Armada in the Northern United States. If you happen to be in the market outside these two regions, markets where you can either have the Patrol or the Armada, what would be their go-to choice, especially when the two nameplates are basically the same models? Of course, there are differences that may or may not relatively matter, but let's crack that down. The most important difference between the SUV twins is the available power trains. So the 2025 Armada is exclusively available with a twin table 3.5 liter V6 gasoline engine that produces 425 horsepower and 699 newton meters of torque. Now this Armada that we're looking at, fresh new, has 7% increase in power over the outgoing generation and 25% boost in torque over the outgoing generation and this results in improved overall efficiency by 25% guys that is some good numbers now this particular plant that we are talking about the power plant is a slightly detuned version of what sits under the hood of the Infinity QX80 that we got a couple of months ago and I need you to take note that the 2025 Nissan Armada actually drops the V8 and gains a rugged Pro 4 Extreme in this case okay so take note and let's delve down into the Nissan Patrol. Now, the Nissan Patrol that we got also dropped the V8 option in favor of the aforementioned twin turbo 3.5 liter V6. And on top of that, it also gets a naturally breathing 3.8 liter V6 that doles out 316 horsepower and 386 newton meters of torque. This improves overall efficiency by 10%. And that is some good numbers here. This will save those who like their off-roaders with non-forced induction power plants, guys. So take note if that is what you are significantly sensitive to. Now, both the Armada and the Patrol that we are looking at here are equipped with 9-speed automatic transmission, sending power to the rear wheel or all four wheels at the same time. Now, if you are in love with Nissan's full-time four-wheel drive, the full-time four-wheel drive system can be had with a rear locking diff, further elevating the off-road prowess of this Toyota Land Cruiser arrival that we are just getting. Okay, so these are the things that, you know, differ and are also similar under the powertrain section. But let me delve into the exterior, whether we can actually make anything different with these identical twins. Now, they look gorgeous, they look new because they are new. Now, visually, your way of telling these two SUVs apart is by just one single indicator, and that is the yellow indicators of the Armada, which is actually mandatory in the North America to have all these vehicles. Now, the rest of the styling cues are identical, including the available 22-inch wheels and the color palettes are also basically the same in this case. But... What I want you to take note is that the Nissan Armada is actually available in a rugged Pro 4 Extreme. You've seen this one? Yes, it's jacked up, it's off-road ready and ready for everything you throw, you throw at it off-road. And this comes with a slightly redesigned body kit and all of the available off-road goodies here. Now, chances are that the Patrol will get a similar trim in the future, possibly adopting a different name. And if the previous generation, you know, of the patrols are anything to go by, we are also expecting a Nismo branded version of the patrol with a host of performance full cost modifications sometime in the future that we do not know. Stay tuned because we will update once those information become available. But then once we have touched on exterior, I think the next logical thing to go to is interior so let's look at the interior and we can briefly say that the patrol is more premium 
in this case. You can argue it out, but that's what we feel. Let me touch on the, in the inside. Both the Nissan Patrol and the Armada here benefit from a host of technology and luxury features here. And they both get closer to the more premium Infinity QX. I think you do agree here. Now, Nissan hasn't detailed the entire lineup of the Patrol. Uh, we now know that in the Middle East, we are getting the 3.8 liter version and then the 3.5 liter version. So the 3.8 liter version, we are getting these trims, the XE trim, the SE T2 trim, we are getting the SE Titanium and then the SE Platinum CD. So you can tell for yourself with that presentation here. And then on the 3.5 liter version, we are getting the LE T1, we are also getting the LE T2, we are getting the LE Titanium, we're getting the LE Titanium Plus and finally the LE Platinum C. So these are the um, trims that we are going to get with this. And we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of this in the future when the details become available. We also are expecting special editions such as the Safari, the Desert Edition, and then the Nismo Editions. We do know that the YC3 models appear to be better equipped than the Armada in this case. And I'm sure if you have any contrasting ideas, you can actually put in a comment section and I would gladly like to know. Now, now that we have touched on that, let me then go ahead and actually highlight the first in terms of the interior. And first of all, the patrols come standard with the sophisticated adaptive air suspension that you have heard of. And this offers you the adjustable ride height, easier ingress, egress, and more dynamic ride comfort guys but then on the contrary it is only available on the armada pro 4x and the platinum reserve flagships of the armada with entry-level models featuring steel suspension so this is a big difference in terms of the suspension system on these cars now another area that i would like to lay emphasis on take a look is the dashboard they look great right but then the dashboard of the nissan patrol here is a dual 14.3 inch display, which are available only on the high spec Amada trims, right? So if you have a low spec Amada trim, you are getting a dual 12.3 inch screen here instead of a 14.3. When you step up to the highest Amada full options, then you get a 14.3, but then it comes standard with a patrol. But then both SUVs benefit from Nissan Connect 2.0 infotainment with Google built-in and a comprehensive ProPilot ADS system, in this case, that I think you would enjoy on both vehicles. Now, as I try to continue establishing differences, this is one of them that I cannot forego. Now, the patrol here that you're looking at, I think it still looks gorgeous, but I still have my doubts though. The patrol also offers the option of a dual 12.8-inch screen for the rear passengers which is a must have for the Middle Eastern buyers in this case. But then it is not on the Armada. Another standard feature on the patrol that is optional on the Armada is the panoramic roof that you see here. So take notes if you are interested in picking up any of these and you are in a market where you can have access to both. If not, then I guess you would have to look for a better trim that will serve your purpose here. Now, let me try and wrap up with the commonalities here in this vehicle. So, available goodies on both SUVs include a 12 speaker clip switch premium audio system. You are also getting massaging seats with eight way adjustable functions and a biometric cooling technology. Now, the latter, this biometric technology actually utilizes infrared sensors to scan the body temperature of the first and second row passengers, making the best out of the climate control in this case, which I believe is a smart way of um, improving your climate controls in this vehicle. But let me finally wrap up with the differences in the availability periods of these vehicles. Of course, there are differences there too. So let me begin with the Nissan Patrol that is going to be available in the UAE. Saudi Arabia and other Middle Eastern markets, including Africa, starting from November 1st, 2024. Now, those of you in Australia, you will get the patrol, yes, but prospective buyers down and that will have to wait until late 2026 to place their order. This is a bit tricky though, but I hope, I hope, I hope that is 
Um, not going to go that far for Australia to get that. But then let me wrap that up with Armada for the United States market. So as for the Nissan Armada, sales in North America will commence in late 2024. That's later this year. Pricing will be announced closer to their respective market launches of the two models. And so I would indulge you to stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't. So that the very moment we go ahead with a comparison, the trim comparisons of these SUVs, you'll be one of the first persons to be notified. We are so thankful that you passed by. We thank you so much. Have a good great day until we meet same time again. Bye-bye.